Yo, hey guys, Weeks here, back with another video. So this is going to be kind of a continuation of the new profile series, but also kind of not. So I'm going to explain kind of what's going on with that. So basically we left off with the new profile series, episode 56. Uh, we tried like the moon temple and failed. We got most of the blueprints, we're only missing a few. We talked about how we'd continue to progress the, the series. Um, so the only thing I mean about how this isn't a continuation of the profile series is I'm just probably not going to name it new profile series part whatever um, But I'll continue to put them in this playlist Basically, I find some of the information I put in here very hard for people to find and I'm just going to continue this profile with some of the stuff I said try out some new builds do some challenge modes and whatnot and continue to put them in the playlist just so if you wanted to you know, watch along like you have before. Um, it'll be just as easy, but probably name things more like, you know, the NGs. Uh, Cause if we look at my actual other playlist, you know, here's the, uh, the Sorcerer. So, I mean, I have NG1, but this was back when there was no DLCs. So now I'm currently playing with DLCs. Uh, I had NG10 already completed when we had this DLC. And then we see we have the Witch Hunter. I'm already at you know, plus 20 at least, and then the uh, the Moon Temple. So now we have it way earlier. This is all old school stuff. So a lot of the items were different. We didn't have the bestiary, we didn't have statues, we didn't have the pyramid, we didn't have Moon Temple. Uh, we had the old watcher fight, all kinds of stuff. Uh, drinks were rebalanced at one point. So all of this is pretty dated and uh, the runs were a lot harder. Cause I mean, you see here, NG1, two hours. Um, and it's basically two hours for basically every run until statues come out then it starts going down to one hour So I assume runs will be more around one hour as well, but uh, we'll have to see but this may open up some new strategies that I You know uh, Some new strategies I might be able to employ just because of all the changes in the game uh, If we look at some of the other ones the same goes with paladin. I have you know ng8 ng12 ng16 17 before pyramids come out then we have the statue and back then the cap was at ng20 so you didn't actually get any bonuses past ng20 and hardly anyone was making it to ng20 you could get the paladin the priest and the sorcerer to 20 and that was really about it everything else lagged really far behind statues i mean you can just see the the jump of power to 20 30 40 50 and then you know up to 60 there i haven't even played this with uh the new expansion i haven't played a paladin run so it'll be uh it'll be i think a fun time just to see how things have changed what other kind of builds we can maybe use to go through the middle game because i would kind of say there's three different portions of the game and in the new profile series we did the first portion which i'd call the beginning of the game which is going to be the ng0 to ng2 and then i'll say ng2 onward kind of starts when you have all the upgrades in your town you start getting your statues uh, you're looking for blueprints and once you have all the upgrades for all your characters everything in the town unlocked you're kind of in what i would call the middle game where you are running uh tower runs maybe some pyramid maybe some arena maybe some moon temple and you're finding the rest of the patterns you're starting to attune everything your character's getting really strong and then you have the late game when you have all the attunements from the anvil there's really no more power to get anywhere outside of statues and the bestiary so i would say the late game starts when your anvil is kind of done i think it's around ng 20 ish um, you basically start doing runs you get ore your ore goes to statues as you do runs you get stars from leveling up your stars go to the bestiary so every run it's ore goes to statues you get a little bit of increase there and you have stars going to be here you get a little increase there and then any of your gold is probably going to arena um once you know as long as you can still upgrade it it gets to a point where really you can't even afford the arena upgrades anymore but anyway it'll be interesting to kind of bridge that gap because we basically have the beginning of the game and we have the end game but we kind of are lacking in the middle game at least with the current dlcs and everything that has changed on basically every character. I mean, you see a one through eight in classic, you see a one through six in classic on the wizard, one through six in classic on the ranger. And you can see these are, you know, two hour runs to, to beat this stuff. 
and some of them might even fail, you know. Uh, also, the Warlock, you know, NG6. So it's going to be a, a lot of changes just by just by doing that, just by going back to it. But I don't want to just put them only in the new profile series and have them all labeled as new profile series stuff. It's going to be, you know, NG2, 3, 5, whatever. Uh, and actually put them in the other playlist in addition to this one. Uh, so if you want to just watch it like you have been for the new profile series, you can follow along the playlist. But if you're seeking out a certain class with a certain NG+, you'll also be able to find that. So just to do some other quick like homework, basically, um, I'll go in and kind of show where we left off the town. Just switching things up a little bit. That should have done it. All right, yeah, so we have our profiles. This is our main profile where we have our NG60s. This is the new profile series. This is also the new profile series. This is the one we actually did the challenge run on. So these are slightly different from each other. The challenge run being the Ranger 1 HP run. Um, so if you haven't watched that, watch that. But uh, this is the actual official everything has been recorded one. So I have some more challenge runs. So I will most likely keep this profile around just to always have a profile that's around NG2 while I progress this other one and get it up to NG2, NG10, NG20. Just depends how far we go with it until we reach uh, basically this profile, until we reach our main profile. Um, what else? What else? But all of our characters are NG2 in the tower and I think at max they're NG1 or 0 in the... Oh, except for our thief, because we accidentally went NG2 and we beat it <laughs> way early. So everything is uh, lower in the pyramid in the moon temple. And our tower should be two on everyone. We have all the unlocks for everything. Uh, except for, like, drinks. I think we're missing a couple drinks. We're missing a couple of um, anvil blueprints. But we have, like, all the chapel and all that stuff done. Yeah, we're missing ten blueprints there. I think we're still missing, like, couple drinks yeah two drinks there but we have all the upgrades for all the characters and everyone has made it to ng2 so it'll kind of be how are we going to progress from here what kind of builds can we use is there you know some build that can just make things really easy so we can just kind of go through and I have an idea for a build so this will be like a secret build i've never tried before i've never uh really worked out but it's uh i guess just a hint it's a, a reworked build I've done before but we're gonna take it to the next level and hopefully it works if it doesn't it doesn't but uh, we'll try to push it as far as we can and see if you know, it's just gonna be a build that's going to easily be able to get basically any character through the mid game but we'll see we'll see um, other than that what else is there to talk about um, basically uh, I have an idea for at least one more challenge run on the ng2 profile so I'll probably be doing that as my next video, and then we'll start you know, doing some uh, videos on this. But I want to go ahead and get this out as soon as possible because I would like some feedback on what you think about all these things, and if there's anything I should change now before it gets too late. And just general thoughts in, in general, I guess. Um, also, if you have any suggestions for other videos or challenge runs and stuff like that, uh, I would love to hear it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop rambling now and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. We do have a Discord and a bunch of resources. If you want to join that, that's also going to be in the description. I'll also put the challenge run I talked about earlier in the description. And what else, what else, what else? I think that's about it. Um, before I start the next one where we do the special build, I'll explain all the stuff behind it and the mentality. And at worst, we can work on the build together and see if uh, there's some way to make it work. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.